Helpful Tips for a Better Good Morning To have a better good morning, it really starts the night before in getting a better good night's sleep. There are many reasons why we don't get a good night's sleep. Anything from work, stress, family responsibilities to illnesses. We might not be able to control all these factors that interfere with our sleep. However, we can try to have habits that will encourage better sleep. Start with these simple tips. Stick to a sleep schedule. One thing we can do is try to go to bed and get up about the same time every day. Being consistent will help our bodies with the sleep-wait cycle, that internal time clock. When you go to bed, if you don't fall asleep in about 20 or 30 minutes and you're wanting to go to sleep, just try to get up and read a book or maybe listen to some relaxing music until you feel tired. Sometimes this will help. Pay attention to what you eat or drink later in the day when it gets closer to bedtime. Trying to avoid eating heavy or large meals before bedtime could help in a better night's sleep. Also, the stimulating effects of caffeine could take hours to wear off, which also can interfere with your sleep. Try to create a restful atmosphere in your bedroom. Try to keep your room cool, dark, and quiet. However, we need to create an environment that suits our individual needs. Some people need a device running to fall asleep, like a fan or I even known of people needing a TV to play to fall asleep. However, darkness does help produce melatonin and melatonin is a hormone that our brain produces in response to darkness. And the hormone melatonin plays a role in the sleep-wake cycle. So sometimes even a nightlight can affect our sleep. Limit daytime naps. Long daytime naps can interfere with our nighttime sleep. So limiting our naps to say about an hour and avoiding napping late in the day can contribute to a better night's sleep. So however, if you work nights, your schedule is gonna be completely different. Be more active. Being more active and being outside and spending time outside can promote better sleep. However, you might wanna start winding down sometimes before it gets to bedtime. Try to manage stress and worries. We have to acknowledge what we are worried and stressed about and seek solutions. I know this is a lot harder to do and easy to say. However, a good night's sleep does help us to have a better good morning. Now that we're sleeping better, let's take a look at our daily routine because our daily routine matters as well. Try to avoid hitting the snooze button because hitting the snooze button can really get us behind on our morning routine. While we may attempt to only get five more minutes of sleep, hitting that snooze can quickly become a half an hour or longer. For those that drinks coffee, they can really appreciate the aromatic cup of coffee brewing before they even get up. They can start to smell the aroma as it drifts through the house. So this will be another way to kind of get you up and get you going. Also, you might appreciate a cup of hot herbal tea. This will be another beverage to consider in getting your day started off on a good start. However, before you pour that first cup of hot, fresh brewed coffee, consider drinking water before coffee because we lose water through our breath. And when we sweat through the night, we're losing water too. And usually we wake up thirsty. And considering that the human body is comprised of somewhere between 60 to 75% of water, hydration is so important to good health. So drinking water the first thing in the morning will not only help rehydrate us, but also help our morning to be a better morning. If you don't like plain water, try adding lemons, lemon juice, or electrolytes. The word breakfast means to break the fast. 
So to fuel up in the morning time is another way to start your day off right, preparing a healthy breakfast with ingredients that makes you feel good. Another thing to do to make a better good morning is self-care. Self-care is not selfish. Self-care is a routine that you create to support your well-being. This can include anything from grooming to reading a book to relax. What you define as self-care is going to be very unique to you and what your needs are. Take a moment to stretch. You may be surprised to know how some simple stretching can promote feeling better and getting your body ready for the day. To have a better good morning, you've got to give yourself enough time in the morning to take care of your morning duties whether you go to school or whether you work from home or you work remotely having enough time in the morning to take care of the things that we have talked about is going to help you to get off on a better start to have a better good morning to have a better good morning start each day with a grateful heart What a great feeling it is when you help someone in need, offer a kind word or an act of kindness. This will help your morning to be a better day. take a moment to subscribe if you have not done so already leaving a comment and sharing and giving a thumbs up helps the channel to grow as always thank you and i will see you in the next video